Hi, in this video I'll show you how to perform a keyword search with multiple keywords and this is going to be using Power Query. I got this idea from Wynn Hopkins. He is an Excel MVP. He's got an excellent blog and YouTube channel, Access to Analytics. You can go check him out. And this is how we're going to go with this one. So this is an example of keywords that I have. This is survey data of hotels in Vegas. You can see that there's some text here. And here's some example keywords that torture TDK Sunday night. And these particular keywords show up in the responses here. So as you can see, torture shows up here one time here. And the two keywords that we have here, TDK and Sunday night, show up here in this particular survey response. And if we want to look at other keywords, let's say, for example, um, let's see what we got here. Maybe something easy. Uh, how about House of Skip? Let's select that. Control C to copy. We'll put it here. Control V to paste. Let's put two keywords here to pick this thing up. Ah, the spa. That's a good one. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. And maybe the last one. Let's look at another record. Let's look at this record. Well, maybe the, yeah, let's look at the third, fourth row here. And let's see. Well, you know what? Let's bring torture back. It seems like it's a good word here. Control C to copy. And then Control V to paste. Press enter. And minimize that a little bit. Right click. Refresh. Let's see what it brings back. And it brought back the records, but it filled it all up. Select the whole rook sheet. Adjust the column width. And now we have our column widths here adjusted so we can see this. So we have torture there. That was that fourth record. And house of skip the spa, which is that third record there that it brought back here, right? So let's see how we can do something like this. I'm going to just copy this table over into a new worksheet, Control A to select the records. And if I want to get the header, Control A again, Control C to copy and bring my workbook here and paste, just paste the values. And you can see it's brought back all those records there. Let's close this out. I'm going to have that pane open up later, but make the width here a little bit wider so we can see everything. For this column, let's wrap the text. And you can see now it's increased our row size. Select the whole worksheet and let's adjust the height of the rows so we can just see a little bit of the rows. We're going to turn this into a table. Go to insert and table. Yes, my table does have headers. Click OK. Give this table a name. I'll call it survey. Press enter. And let's create a keyword table. I'll just type key to make it short. And let's type in some words. I will use torture like we did earlier. Uh, let's use some other words. Maybe hotel. Oh, this is going to bring back a lot of results. And well, let's bring back torture and TDK. Let's bring back, let's bring TDK. TDK. You will at least we'll know it will bring back that that particular record and probably will bring back hotel. I'm sure hotels in here somewhere. And let's make this into a table. Click on the range of data, go to the insert table. My table does have headers. Click OK. And we'll call this one key. Make it short and sweet here. Double click or key. Press enter. Now I'm going to bring this into Power Query. Go to data, table and range. And it's going to bring all that, all the contents of the table, even with the name survey that we had earlier. Click close and load. And we want to make connect connection only query. So I have the import data. We only want to create a connection. Click OK. By default, my particular instance of Power Query uh, creates it as a connection only. In most instances, if you haven't configured it, it's going to put it as a table. So when you click close and load, it's going to load it as a ta separate table in a new worksheet. But in my particular instance, I wanted to have it only as connection only. So I'm going to do the same thing with my key table here. Select that under data, table and range, and we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to click, click close and load, and you'll see that it just creates a connection only query. Next step is to make a reference to this particular query. So in instances where we have responses, I might want to append further responses to this table and not mess with this particular query because I just want to pull it into this query and then work off of it. So what I'm going to do is make a reference. So right click, 
reference, it's going to make a copy of that particular query with reference all the steps that were in there. There weren't many steps, but uh, this is good so you don't mess up the initial query. So in this particular query, you can see it's survey number two. I'm just going to call it out output. output. So here, what we want to do is I'm going to create a um, index column. And you'll see why we need that later on because it's going to help us match up the records. So at index column, have it start from one. So it's just basically an account one, two, three, four, five. And after this, what we need to do is we're going to bring in our other query. So I'm going to click and open that pane here. I want to bring in that key query, the table, and bring it in as a separate column here. So the way we do that is go under add column, custom column, and we're going to call this one, or we're going to just leave custom as the name of the column, and I'll type in key. And the IntelliSense is smart enough to pick it up. Uh, I just need key. It's going to reference that particular query. Click OK, and it's going to bring in the table. So that key has three records in there. So you can see here, if I click on the blank cell, that table, we see uh, we have our three records. And that's going to repeat for every row here. I want to expand this now. So when this expands, we have our index number one. It's going to show up three times because that's for this particular record here. So click on the double-headed arrow. I don't need to have this checked. Just keep the key. That's the only one there. Click OK. And now we have our three keywords and, of course, to our three similar records. Now here, what I want to do is create a custom column, a conditional column. So I'm going to go under Add Column, Conditional Column. And here, what we're going to do is look at our response column. Does it contain the values in that key column? So click on Select Column. And we want to have that key column. If it does, true. If it doesn't, leave blank or no. Click OK. And now we'll find that we had true here. The TDK was true there. And hotel was true for number two. And for the third record, we had torture and hotel there. So it kind of, this is, this one's important because this will let us know that there are two keywords for that same survey. So we have some additional steps to help us make that into one cell. And we're going to separate it by commas. So what we're going to do is remove the empties or select no. I just click remove empty. And we have our trues there. And with that, what we want to do is group this. So we'll select the index column, right click, and group by. And I'll just call this. I'll leave, I'll leave that. We don't really need that column header name anyways. But I'll just leave it. We're going to call it all columns. Click OK. And we have our table here. We have our index, one, two, three, four. We still have our index here, but you notice that it only found, it only grouped items where it found, right? And so we have our TDK there. We have our one record there. We have our two records there, torture and hotel. We want to move these two keywords into one cell, separated by a comma. So the way that we have to do that is we're going to bring in another column. Go to custom column. Let's select this cell here. So it'll help us reference this. So I'll go to Add Column, Custom Column, and I'll keep that because I'm going to change the name later on. What we want to do is use some M code here. So I'm going to type in table.column, select that, open parentheses, the count column. So we're going to select, double click that. That's going to be our table because it, house, it houses the table here, comma, and what column do we want to bring back out? We want to bring out, back out this column key. So we need Put that in quotes, type in key, and close parentheses, press OK, and it's going to create another column that has list values. So it's going to show just that value there. So that's TDK, that one's hotel, and we have our torture and hotel here. And we want to bring that in as one row separated by commas. So this can do that. Select on the double headed arrow, extract values, and what is our delimiter? It's going to be the comma. Click OK. And now we have our record there. This is what we want it. So how do we bring it back and include those full survey responses? What we need to do is we need to merge this query into itself. And what we can do is just go back under Home and go to Merge Queries. And we're just going to merge the index with its own index. So we're in the output query. And we're just going to merge those two indexes together. 
and we're going to change a bit of the text once we see the text here. So it merge that step, extracted values index, with extracted values index. You can see we have that step there. We want to merge it with this step. So I'm going to change this. Call this one added index. So I'll just select this added index. That's the one I want to change. Press enter. And now we've got our original columns of information. We can see here if we select on that, it still has that table of information that we merged back into. You can see the third one here and now has our keywords that are separated by commas. So that's fabulous. Select on my double headed arrows. All I need is my custom. Click OK. And that is where I have my keywords. Remove empty. I'll call this one keywords. Press enter. And now we can load this into our worksheet. So I'm going to click close and load. Click and look, click and close load to. Let's put it as a table here in cell F, existing worksheet. Put it into F1 here, press enter, click OK. And now we have our survey responses that are matching the keywords. Close this window here, or close that panel. Let's make this a little bit easier to read. Select on there all the all the worksheet cells move this height to make it a little bit more readable. So we have torture here. Let's change this one so it makes it easier to read. We have torture and hotel and TDK. So torture, hotel and TDK are showing there. Maybe we just want to show um, some output, not too much. Hotel is a lot. So hotel probably shows up a lot. So earlier, there was one particular keyword that probably you wouldn't find at many other instances of the survey, and I think it was this one here. Uh, let's see, let's see. No, maybe it was the fourth one here, or maybe the fifth one. Let's find it. No? Let's see. Let's see if this one has it. No. Oh, yeah, right here. House of Skip. Let's take that Control C to copy instead of Hotel. Let's call that Control V to paste. Press Enter. Right click this table, refresh, and we should only have a couple records that come back. Again, select the whole cell or the whole worksheet. Let's go back up to the top and change this. And now we only have three records that came back. So we have this record that looks at TK, House of Skip, and Torture. And these are three separate records, right? So we have the TDK here. We have the House of Skip here, that was this one, and then I think this third one was where we had the torture, yeah. But let's. But this didn't show us an example of the keywords that I found uh, that were more than one. So let's see what we else we can find here that will bring it back. And maybe, oh, this would be good, as imported bears, that's something, control C to copy. Let's bring that back. And they'll probably only bring back two records, not press enter. And right click. Let's see, right click and refresh. And this happens because of the amount of data in those cells. Again, let me click on that. Just make that a little smaller. So we have our two records that were brought back. Uh, as some importers in TDK was that first record and then the second one there. So that's how we can find it. One thing about this is also is case sensitive. So let's say, for example, I change this to TDK, T TDK, and I right click, it's going to disappear now. Right click, refresh, and select that and just adjust it again. Right? TDK disappears because it didn't find it. Found capital TDK not lowercase ddk. So if that's something that concerns you, what we need to do is we need to go back into the, back in here, in the query, double click that, and we need to add some bit of code. We needed to add some bit of code to the conditional column part of it. So we have here, if text contains, what we need to do after key is type comma, compare, compare, Compare ordinal, ignore case. So once that's there, press enter. 
if I go down to the last step here, it should find that now, no, or maybe I can just refresh. Yes, it found it, so I found TDK. Click on close and load. Whoops. Cl close that panel and make this a little bit smaller again. So it found TDK, right? This is capital TDK, but it did find it since this is lower TDK. So you notice that it found it. So if case sensitivity is something that you need to be concerned about, you can have that particular extra argument added in there. So that's how you can perform uh, keyword lookups, multiple keyword lookups in Excel using Power Query. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.